All right, welcome back, everybody. Let's continue. Let me help you down. seen his doppelganger yet, so he should be fine. How many slopes does this game have? Guys. There's so many drops in short little... Where the hell are you? Drop-offs and slides all the time. Let me rescue her. Gotcha. God for the gun. That's two bullets, though. How we got out of there in one piece, I'll never know. Hold the celebrations. We're still cornered in shithole central. And the fucking mutants are still out there. We gotta keep moving. We have to go right now. Clearly, we just need to get more guns, apparently. It is better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels or by demons. Heaven or hell. Perhaps okay. you've started to realize something. Everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Three executions, three tormented beings, and so far your students have all avoided damnation, eternal suffering. Any thoughts on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes. All I learned from him is that he's a good cheater. Keep a lookout for the girl. We have to stop her. Pretty sure she'll be back real soon. These flashlight batteries have been lasting forever. I am impressed. This may sound crazy, but what if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? I was only hunted after my double was killed. Hmm. 
That's true. No, demon, no. So use the hammer to pry, prop open a door. I mean, to keep it shut. Mary Milton's grave. Mary's grave. So please the rest about place of Mary Milton. How or why she died. Mary is a source of many accusations against alleged witches. Pastor Carver took her under his wing, where he instructed her and prayed with her before she incriminated several townspeople. Because of her controversial role in the witch trials, many of the townspeople turned their faces against her. Her remains were buried on the edge of town. I don't know what affects the endings, so I'm just playing to play it. I didn't look anything up ahead of time. We'll get whatever we get. Is anything here not falling apart? Dangerous and habitable structure, sight unsafe. Well, there is one thing that's not falling apart. It's our lovely Twitch chat being awesome. Hope you guys are having a good time tonight. You guys are enjoying the game. Hope you guys are enjoying Horror Month. It's been 21 solid days of horror goodness. I think next year's will be even better. This, please stay on the trail. Looks kind of steep. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, where was that, uh, that house? Let's see if we can go inside the house at all. Probably something in there, although it looks radioactive. Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Your doppelganger dies. No, it's over. No, be. My own eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Your suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. Hey. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. 
I was decided to speak to the court. Now I am not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. Yeah. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Then you gotta protect your friend and speak out against her. The accusations, the executions, all that is down to her. You have to tell the truth. You are cursed. A sure sign of the devil. Uh... Let's hope you've done enough to stop that kid and help us get out of here. We'll see. Feels like I made a bad call. What happened? Uh oh. You get a chance to confront Mary? No, nope. we never even saw her. Fuck. Wanna let me resync the sound real fast and make sure see if that does anything. Might hear some pops for a minute. Just to warn you. Might hear the pop 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 pop. We saw Andrew's double. Said he was going to speak out against Mary. That she's just a malicious kid, not some witch finder. That can only be positive. We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds of years ago. How you doing? Ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I correct. didn't see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Have makes no sense. I'm good with that. It never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. We could have used one of those, uh, what do you call it? A paladin, a holy warrior. <laughs> a hero. <laughs> holy shit. I never had you down as a game geek. You know nothing about me, nothing at all. I could be the paladin? We need to get moving. Fuck this place and this stupid ass crash that got uh -oh. us here. Uh oh. that out oh it'll get us out of these damn woods and we can talk on the way getting those trophies hell yeah 
She's getting more and more burned, though, every time she comes in contact with that thing. She's becoming more and more and more like her doppelganger. I don't know what they did with the flashlight in this one, but it looks broken. It's not lighting anything up. Or he doesn't hold it, like, in front of him. Flashlight's weird in this one. Silent Hill solved that problem by putting the flashlight right here and shining where the player is looking. It's those weird little chest flashlights, but they work. It solved the problem. If you never know where the player is going to be pointing it. I hear something coming. Uh oh. Been back there with that thing. <sighs> Whatever it was, it's gone, and it ain't coming back. I really hope oh, you're right. Well, not for now. Whatever we saw back there, or thought we saw, we're still in grave danger. You can't be sure of that. We need your double to spill the beans on Mary to the judge. Seems like the only way to stop her and get us out of here alive. We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. Another theory was setting fire to a doll would get rid of Mary. And how did that work out? It may well, only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot you know. deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on, let's take a look. She she knows that the game auto saves after every decision. There's no reloading. She's played this game before. Well, um, let's look around for secrets. Usually they hide them in the corners and stuff. <sighs> Nothing there. We gotta find another route. Well, let me look over here. Looks like a postcard again. What the f Is that what a chiropractor is? I've been hearing people recommend where they crack your neck. Is that what that means? Because that looks pretty intense. Yeah, that's a little much. Mayor Hales land dead. Deal. Fear protest will surely escalate as closure looms. Oh, this is the factory. My eye is all dry today. Thought someone was gonna come out a little crack in that window. Oh my god, it's the devil. Carver for mayor, 666. For our future prosperity, Samuel Carver. Well, let's go up here. Must be the factory that employed the whole town. Check this out. Hey! Uh, 
That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. been here for a long time. Oh! oh God. Now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! That guy's a dick. I do not know which course to take. My conscience tells me I must speak out against Mary, but it weighs heavy on my heart to do so. This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in I'm Little not here Hope. for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary confessed to me all her accusations were false. She did not see what she claimed. There was no witchcraft. There were no familiars, no devils. All were just the imaginings of a child's mind. You understand the gravity of your testimony? Yes, George, I do. Very well. You may step down. Mary is to remain with me. Given your testimony, I feel the child must go elsewhere. The Reverend Carver will be Mary's new charge by order of the court. Uh-oh. Tell me everything. Uh-oh. Did you see Andrew's double again? Yeah, we saw him. He told the judge that Mary made it all up. None of what she said was true. Now what? She gets taken away and does time for her lies? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. What do you think? Is he right about this? It went down just like he said. It might be too late now. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Well, let's, uh... Wait a minute, it's him! Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. 
Life as a kid in the 70s. Everything was ahead of me. There's got to be another exit. Were we Maybe on the ground floor? Always the caretaker? It's like The Shining. Although he kind of looks like Austin Powers in that photo <laughs> a little bit. Memory of James Clark, sadly missed by many friends and colleagues. Yeah, if you guys didn't see, we're talking about the guy in the, that's sitting down towards the front. It's our, it's the John, the guy, and he's right there. It looks like Austin Powers, doesn't he? Very, very Austin Powersy. He lost his mojo. Um, the three stories, um, we don't know if they link together. Maybe the last game will somehow tie them all together, but it just seems like the caretaker is the only, like, connection between all the games. We don't know, like, who he is exactly. Kiss my ass. Um, Mr. Vincent Barnes, dear Bart, employment warning letter. Following our recent disciplinary meeting, I am writing regarding your attendance behavior. Management has made every effort to combat the difficult circumstances of recent injury by accepting recurring absences. However, continued warnings in re regarding attendance, latency, and intoxication has prompted us to issue a formal written warning. Further repetitions of behavior or other misconduct in the next 12 months result in dismissal. Raven expects our employees to be enthusiastic, punctual, and sober. You must acknowledge the receipt of this letter. Please sign and return it with that foreman's office within seven days. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that just nice? So he was drinking on the job all the whole time. It's the family. Get over here. You gotta see this. This is too fucking weird. This is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? They actually no did, clue. didn't they? Who knows what happened? Fence, fire. Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. Crushed. Forgot to use Twitch Prime token. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait. Oh, Who this guy was the, the soldier in the beginning of Man of Medan. I didn't Maybe time realize that. Here. He like, was in the game for such a short amount really of time. really is us in that photo. But they're around the same age as us. Hmm. It's the judge guy. Um, Samuel knocked Lewiston, February 6, 1693. Having read Captain Bond's letter, rest, attesting the affair within uh, Little Hope, and heard the petition of the townsmen, I write to express my sinful concern, uh, discernment. Pastor Carver's teaching straight from the true doctrine and piety. His mind wandered from the fellowship of saints and turned into the sin of past years. Please send his past behaviors which affect and corrupt the town. Um... I asked the commission before to examine such affairs last year, including the matter of the girl. Thy servant, thus why I'm in judge. Oh, he had a pun to start of the game. It says, I feel like I was a Marine in a former life. Oh. They made him look a bit different in this one, so I didn't recognize him right away.
little hope factory to close. Hundreds of layoffs will gut the town. There's 600 jobs set to be lost in Little Hope when the Revenant Textiles Factory closes its gates at the Har Harvard Road site in September. Layoffs will include workers at the main factory and ancillary businesses across the town. Susan was announced on Tuesday by Hazel Carver, a director in the family business that has been the primary employer of the town for over 160 years. Great sadness, we have made a decision. We consider the workers at the factory part of our extended family know that much Revenant means to them. No longer continue to run the business. Dialogue with Carver family said, while the daughters have been receptive to the union's ideas for saving the factory, Mayor uh, Carver has rejected them at every turn. We want a partnership with the family to save their business and our livelihoods, but it seems that the mayor does not accept partners. Another union worker did not want to be ex identified expressed this bitter opinion. This is all about the land. The Carvers have owned the town for generations. If they can't profit from the land, they will shut it all down. As the main source of income for the majority of the towns, uh, many are worried the future will bring. Factory closes will cut the town, one worker said. Ferrymen, busmen, drivers uh, wanted full training given, uniform apply. Hmm. Hmm. I like that sign up there. Dope! Don't do it. Don't do it, kids. Don't do dope. Because if you do dope, You'll be like relaxed and chill for like a couple hours and then you won't cause any problems because you'd be too chill to do that because that's bad for some reason. Is that the, that's the guy's, the boyfriend. What's the story here? She leave him for some other guy? Tanya and Vince were Practicing Wiccans. Hmm. I know alcohol kills way more people per year than weed probably ever has. And it's legal, so I'm not sure why weed is illegal everywhere. Uh, factory close has closed the liquidation. Factory several incidents since the closure of the place off limits. Attempted into premises debt to the criminal trespass. Hmm. Oh, sorry. That. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm leaving. No, th this 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 way. No, not that way. Okay. It's none of that. Uh oh. You hear that? Right below us. Under the floor. We need to find a way out of here. Now. I don't like that. There's a newspaper here. Tragic fire caused by a child's toy. <gasps> the toy at the beginning was the poppet. They set it on fire and then it burned the whole house down. Cosmic fire is Little Hope family residence. Uh, there's been a child's toy. Lieutenant David Farr the Little Hope Fire Department told the Herald that the gas range in the kitchen had been left on and child's doll set down near it. Please, the doll caught fire, fell off the rain, setting the kitchen ablaze. The fire result deaths of Monk's Clark family. One survivor, Anthony Clark, has been questioned by police after being arrested on suspicion of causing the fire. However, the fire investigation is now thought to exonerate the young man who will be released today. So he lived. Family's minister, uh, Reverend, Reverend Leonard Carson of the St. Um, Episcopal Church said the fire was a tragedy. Terrible for a family to be decimated, but they've been going through a difficult time recently, as many families do. We're most tr um, struck by the fact that the church will not be receiving donations from them anymore, but that's what we were truly cared about. But they were a good, hardworking family and, and loving family, and I was helping through their troubles. Tragedy should end like this. No date for the funeral has yet to be arranged. 
Both the fire department and the mayor's office praised the swift action police officers who arrived at the scene and were able to prevent the blaze coming at six victims. Officers Reynolds and Hoffman, uh, quick thing can bring another death, said the mayor, to recommend the men for a combination. Right. Yeah, we're not sure what. We're not sure exactly what's happening yet, because we don't know what these things are and where they came from and why they're here. Yeah, something to do with that reverend from the past. Cancelled order. That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push. Push together, right? Good. Now, push! Uh oh. Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah. Uh-oh. Oops. I'm sure this is fine. Daniel? You okay? Oh, we're great. Help. We're just peachy. Come on now! Hold. Grab! Grab! Let's kick our ass. Come on. Kick your ass. I'm giving up on you. Let us know you're okay. Let's go before anything else happens. I'm sure he's fine. Let's just go on about our day. He's great. I'm he's probably never better. what we get for not just Daniel? climbing over the damn box. Where the fuck are you? Answer me! You see Daniel out here? No. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. Everything's gonna be great. I know they made the guy look the very, very smug. Daniel, please answer me. Stay cool. One we'll get him back. Second. Okay. So. Well, um, we've actually saw it. They can all see each other's um, 
things that's attacking them, but no one else can see theirs. So somehow this family or whatever they are collectively can see each other's creatures, but the other guy couldn't see them the thing at all. So it's just them Daniel? who see it. Where are you, buddy? So we're not sure exactly Andrew! what is happening. Hey! You guys! I'm up here! Boy, am I happy to see you. At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. Glad you got out in one piece. You really were busted up for a second there, huh? A little bit. That thing didn't have did a you spot proper that Kate Mary? Not seen her. Hmm. That is a old car. A sun symbol appear related to pagan magic. Anything in the trunk? Burn yes. in hell. We'll try to forget I just saw this. Uh, Mr. Clark leaving the Little Hope uh, Police Department yesterday. Line has been drawn under the tragic case of Clark House Fire. Onlookers watched as Anthony Clark, the only survivor of the blaze, was released from police. There's a new one onlooker said, That poor boy, he must be going through hell right now. Harold approached Mr. Clark for combat. He was not blamed. Clark, who was found with the box matches in hand, the scene caused the fire. Clark, the help police fire passes by, were heard uh, to burn in hell. Hmm. So they were outraged and attacking him with very little proof or information. That never happens today, but you know. You see that? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. Little girl. Hey! No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife! There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'm down as infects you in madness. Roy, you but saints, servants. We have to stop this. Come on, help me! Look, there can be no more doubting. This is witchcraft. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of Little Orc rests in your hands. about being trapped in a rock in a hard place.
That priest always had a crush on him. What happened? Tell me. We don't that have a lot of time. Team rocked. Time for what? John! What are you doing? I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move! Let's do it! Old people power! Come on, you fucking ready! This boomer goes boom! Family. This is the power of family. Don't stand there, John. We gotta go. Like now. Hoping is only interested in me. Get out of here. Go. I'll hold it back. You can get away. Escape. I did. You don't have to do this. This is stupid. Get out. Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. Don't look, you idiot. Where in God's name are we now? Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. Something isn't right is this shitty town's motto. Really? I thought it was, we have beer. Oh. I guess that's not quite as good. Other way first, though. Just 
got to be a postcard. Yep, there it is. Which? That's the next game. That's tomorrow's stream. We just saw tomorrow's stream today. We just saw the future. Modern guide to successful parenting. Dr. Andreas Fuger. Maybe if we had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. Parents unhappy with their own upbringing can overcompensate. They may not want their children to feel the same way as they do about their own parents. They yearn to be friends with their offspring, so parents accept theories and encourage love as a solution to conflict. This leads to the belief that if their children misbehave, they should be angry or punish them. But instead, indulge in their every, ever, ever greater displays of love. Spoiling a child's way has grave consequences. Children become damning and damning, demanding and disagreeable. Parents suppress anger of their child's behavior, but cannot keep a lid on their frustrations till they explode. Frightening and confusing the children. Parents feel guilty and as a loss for what to do, feeding a new cycle of misbehavior. The problem lies with parents trying to be patient with, when patience is exhausted and the child needs correction. These, they are indecisive or ir irresolute when firmness is required. If no one corrects him, the child will only escalate his behavior until his pr provocations become so serious that his parents snap. An eruption and restores peace temporarily, but there's danger in the aftermath. Parents who feel guilty at losing their temper forget to give their child time to endure his punishment. Instead, they attempt to undo the correction by using new penalties. Discipline requires consistency. Both parents must hold the line up against a rebellious child and punishments follow through. Should one parent relax their discipline because of laziness or guilt, they leave an opening for a naughty child to exploit. Setting limits. Parents must set limits, and indeed, a child prefers his parents to be firm, but they are also fair. This is essential training in getting on with other people. Without a child believes the world will conform to his or her demands and tantrums. You can see this often in Twitch chat with demands of switching games or please give me a shout out or please follow my channel, not this one. Such spoiled children are often shocked by the real world and cannot cope in an environment that does not indulge their every whim. They face becoming unpopular, learning the hard way how to socialize with others. Parents must actively intervene in establishing limits. A child that balks can be forced to do what is asked of them, whether it's stopping them dr drawing or turning the TV off. Well-adjusted parent can stand up to their children while maintaining friendly relations. Be firm in the face of refusal or, or yelling. In, the in the time, the child will learn where the boundaries of acceptable behavior lie. Bad manners. As he progresses towards adolescence, the child's apt to lose his manners. He talks through... Um, Leaves his shoelaces untied, arrives at the dinner table with dirty hands. Many things are happening here. He's adopting models of behavior of others, kids his age, asserting his independence. He's fine with his behavior. Parents imagine the child has gotten all they taught him, but he hasn't. He knows good behavior from daddy, or he wouldn't rub or bell against it. Parents should understand the child is growing up normally. Angry parents, uh, feelings from a child are normal. Pa parents should acknowledge these without accusing misbehavior. Uh, the child needs to understand the difference between hostile feelings and hostile actions. The basis of well-adjusted behavior is the ability to recognize feelings and decide how to act on them. Some boys may show no open rebellion, while girls may show less bad manners than boys. Tend of parents can detect the change that they made. Oh. I know how to raise Twitch chat now. James and Anne. That's them. You're gonna want to see this. This is our house. We're in our house that burned down. Angela and I were married. This makes less and less sense. Don't look out that window. I don't trust it. Yeah, window pad. Letter from Reverend Carson. 
Dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concern to assure you that your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I felt her parents were similar issues and would be happy to help with Megan's moral guidance. Hebrews 12, 11 says, He who giveth thine prime gaming sub to Don's Gaming gets eternal life in the garden of jubilation, as is written. Uh, says that all this one seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Please see me after the service on Sunday so he we can arrange uh, time for personal instruction. Reverend Carson. Oh, thank you, One Tap Willie, for the sub, and Sage Monkey, Russet uh, Shekel, uh, Merc Dog, Ducks Guts, uh, Hoppy Coyote. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the jubilations. Uh, Zuja, thank you for the uh, five gift subs. Ooh. Oh. There's a key there, though. Grab the key, it's right there. There was a will let me grab it. It feels like I should take that key, but it won't let me. little back room here. Can't go over there. What was that? Gotta be the girl. Let's go find her. There's a small chance that the vinyls in the attic are still there. And if there's oh, she's in any of them are in good shape, they're worth a lot of money. What the hell? Stay here. Hey, Bigfoot. Not anymore. God damn it! Andrew, what's going on? You are. Ah! No, wait. Will you protect me? You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested little hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary, and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tit, child, this creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. This is crazy. These people have lost their freaking minds. Yep. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I don't this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth, hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his doing. You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. 
I will see this town purged of all evil. You're messing this up. Carver isn't the one you should be calling out. No. What must I do to bring little hope back into the line? Carver, you Fear dummy. Reverend, and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. You did an ASMR stream. You're no priest. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's whore! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. Will you let us out of this town now? But I didn't save you. What? What? You did it! It worked! It did? 100% you made the right call. That jerk of a priest was the real bad guy. Was he? Sure, yeah. I mean, I should feel great. Uh... But I don't. I, I, I feel nothing. Come on. Let's get out of here. You look pleased. What just happened? We're all done here. Well, you condemned many people to death and burned and crushed them and... Yeah. Good ending? Everyone's alive? I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. How fucking great does this feel? Looks like a Twinkie. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm so happy we all made it out of here. But? My ass is so getting fired tomorrow. So? What's the deal now, T? I'm gonna need some time and some space. Tonight is gonna take a while to get over. 
you know? No, sure. I get it. They're not going to be together anymore. I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. That's going to haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through you hell. That, right? We're finally getting out of this hell. Blame yourself. I just wish we all could have made it. What? We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. That's where yeah, the I'm bus fine. driver went. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. They were never there. Just shut up! This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? So that's why we were playing every role. We were all him. Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. Need a clear head. You shouldn't be drinking right now. How the hell does two player work? I don't though? think it's a good idea. Drinking's all I got left. I don't feel like that would make sense. Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciate there's no goddamn us Once I looked you in the eye. Now let me in. Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. But it wouldn't it be the same every time, no matter what? So even if you save everybody, it wouldn't, does that make a difference? Congratulations. Your single charge found a way through the guilt, the horror, and came away whole. And you eventually found him the bus driver maybe he can now put the past behind him oh. 
So there is a very different ending from what you got? Okay. Until we meet again. Maybe in the Arabian desert. <gasps> Tomorrow. Maybe somewhere else. In House of Ashes? Tomorrow? But we will meet again. At least one more time. Probably only one more time. Yep, tomorrow's the new release of House of Ashes. Very, very nice. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow we'll be playing House of Ashes, guys. Now I got to see both the games back to back. Hope you guys enjoyed. I like that one. I like that ending. Some people don't like that, that ending. I like it. I thought it was pretty good. Well, what is this that I can see don't I like that. Thing. Don't like that DMCA stuff going on right there. Don't like that part, but I like the game. That was pretty good. All right, guys. I'm 